So why don't we go there really quick? First John 5 and 4. Can we get that? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 First John 5 and 4. For whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. We have the faith to believe. To believe what? To believe in the Son of God. To believe in the name of the Son of God, Jesus. To believe. Once we believe, we have now, we have that, that provision. We now have that power. Amen. That power to yeah. overcome all. Yes. Obstacles. Yes. Yes. Okay? And yes. you said, what, 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 what are you saying? Obstacles. Obstacles is a job. Obstacles is trouble in the home. Uh, trouble in my way. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right now. I have to cry sometimes. That's what it says. <laughs> but I, I'm telling you that, yeah, you, you can cry, but don't, 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 don't stay in that rut. Right. Because... I've also heard that the tears I shared, I, or that I shed, were tears of joy. Joy in how? Joy in knowing that I am victorious because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Greater than my circumstances. Greater than any sickness that may befall me. He is greater. Therefore, I am victorious. Amen. Therefore, I am a world overcomer. Now, I said a world overcomer. I'm, I'm just, I don't want to just name everything that you would eventually come up against. But I want you to imagine in your heart, whatever it is, just picture it right now. Whatever it is that is plaguing you, whatever it is that is causing you not to live out the life that God has uh, set before you. I want you just to picture that. And then I want you to, to know that God is greater than that. It is so. It is so. God is greater than a heartbreak. I gave him or her all of me. And now I'm just heartbroken because I'm not receiving what I gave. Well, think about the greater one, the greater than I. Think about all of what he gave you and all that he has for you. Are you walking in that victory? Are you still allowing the sin to buff you? To make you think that you have no power. You are just a pawn. For me to use. Get me behind you, say. The devil is alive. Amen. For it says, I am more than a conqueror. Through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Now, if I could just get you to believe that, then I can take you to the to the place where God says, There is nothing that you can't do if you don't put it first. Only if you put it first. There is nothing that you can't do. What, what, are, you, what are you saying? I'm saying that sickness and poverty must cease. Come on. Preach. Because I am speaking the word. The word that was in the beginning with God. The word that was made with flesh. Preach. The word that now lives in me, the uh, power preach. of the Holy Spirit, Hallelujah. I command you, get away from me. Preach I, it, preach it. I come on, come on. I speak life into my situation. I speak life into my yeah. family. I yeah. speak life Hallelujah. into whatever situation or obstacle that is. Amen. That Whatever obstacle that I'm now facing. Amen. Amen. God said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Yes. That, is, that is an assurance. 
It is so. You're trying to tell me that God of all creation is never going to leave me? Never going to forsake me? The only thing he has to do is to speak? And because he's in me, that means that all I have to do is speak. All right now. All right now. So if I speak, then I got to expect. Hallelujah. I got, to, I got to have my mind set and my heart set that I'm going to receive that which I ask him to do. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. I got to receive that. Amen. And once I receive it, then you know, there's nothing that can stop you. There's nothing that can hinder you. When it comes up against you, you know what to tell it. The victory is mine. You, you were defeated Paul. Hallelujah. I'm going to share something with you. Uh, our oldest daughter was in college. Struggling as some young people struggle. Because life was throwing many curves at her. But she made up her mind that I'm going to do what God had instructed me to do. All right. So in getting ready and making that choice, she said that she was in the shower. And all of a sudden, something. You say something. Something. <laughs> <laughs> something has a name. The Holy Ghost. All right. Your oppressor. Jesus. Came over her. Made her think that uh, she was going to just fall dead. You know? Mm. Now, this is it. Now you're, you're down and you're out for the count. But thank God for her teaching and for a uh, loving mother and, uh, and and one that was planted in the Word of God. Our prayers that went forth for her. Yes. And you gotta believe when you pray, you gotta believe that Come something on. is going to yes. happen. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. well, I pray for you next day. So no. you got to believe that it is going to be a change. Yes. yes. And then the change is going to come. So to make a long story short, she said, oh no, I'm not going to receive this. Uh, well, you're trying to tell me what, 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 what I'm, what, let, me, let me tell you what the word of God says. Come on. Let me tell you about your future. Oh my God. That's right. Get me behind me, say, let me tell, yeah. let me tell you about yeah. your future. You're trying to tell me, you're trying to take my life here now, you're trying to tell me what you gonna do with me? Yeah. Let me tell you, you about your future. And when she started quoting God's word, God's word. Amen. Amen. As quickly as he came, he left. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. God for that. Amen. Yeah. That yeah. is the testimony. Hallelujah. Amen. You can do the same thing to the situation and the obstacles in your life. Yes. 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 Speak the word of God. Give the Holy Spirit free reign. Yes. And in God's word, why would you muzzle the ox? Uh, you know, but hopefully I'm not way out there. <laughs> you know, why, why would you, why would you hinder the power that is in you from going forth and bringing into fruition that which God has for you? He says, uh, for us, he has good. And, and in him, is continual, continual, Lord, mm -hmm. good. Not evil, but good. Amen. And so, therefore, we have to believe that all things, Come on. all things, all things, all things what? What, what about all work, things? Work, to, work together, together for the good. For the good. Of those, right? love the Lord. Those of those who what? Love the Lord. Call according to His Amen. He's our yes. Father, and we love Him, and He's made provision for us. Yes. yes. And and when any time something buffles up, buffles us, uh, 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 any time something comes up against us, Amen. what do we do? We can go to Him. Amen. And say, you know, hey, Dad, Father, I'm <laughs> 
you know, address this. Yeah. Yeah. He followed me. He's at him again. Yeah. That's bullying in, in, in the playground. He's at him again. Amen. Amen. And God just simply speak the word. Yeah. Yeah. Hands off. And it's done. We are world overcomers. It is. Yeah. It is so. What about the weapons? Our weapons? As a believer, our weapons of warfare yeah. are mighty in God. Amen. For the what? The pulling down strongholds. Amen. Now these strongholds is not always um, one that uh, somebody put on you. Do you know we can build strongholds in our own lives? Amen. We the biggest perpetrator. Oh, I can't do that. Come on. Oh, well, uh, 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 no, that's too hard. Mm -hmm. Well, well what, what do you mean? I mean, I, I, work, I work 40 hours for this. And what do you mean you want, want me to give 10%? Oh. Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Sometimes we build those strongholds ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. God bless you. Thank and you are blessed. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So, Going forward, little children, let not your heart be troubled. Mm -hmm. Believe in God, believe also in me. And I'm saying this because of the word that I'm telling you is the word that I got from God's word. Amen. Okay? Amen. And if it's true, yeah. you hear the truth, you say, Amen. 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 If it's true, and it is true. Because God is light, and He is the light of men. Amen. Amen. I just want to get get to the point where I'm just trying to get you to see that you are more than what you give your, your self credit to be. You Amen. don't know. You don't really know your worth. Come on, come on, yeah. teach this. Yeah, teach this. Amen. <laughs> Uh, I, can, can you just you, you, you're a child of God and you go into a situation you may not know all the players in that situation you don't have to you just got to know the, the one that's in charge yeah. he even said even when you brought up before judges and, and, and people in high places it's a big nod to what you have to, to say. You said because of that self same hour. Yeah, what? Amen. The yeah. Holy Spirit will give you what you yeah, say. Yeah, amen. Yes. Yeah. It is. So. Yes. Well, well, Lord, I want that promotion. Uh, but I don't know quite what to say. Well, they say I don't have the qualification. Wait a moment. What happened to the greater... Is he next to me? All right. Okay, so I'm going to go forward. Lord God, I believe that you have my best interest at heart. So put to the test. I was called on uh, my job. I was called into the, the office uh, and told that people were going to be getting paint slips. I was uh, coordinated at that time. And I'm like, oh, okay. So then the different um, people that were under me were coming to me and they, I got paid for it. Sobbing and all. But I'm giving them, I'm consulting them, giving them the word of God and, and telling them it's all going to be all right. My God, amen. This is not the end. Say it. Yeah. This is just another opportunity for God to work in your life. Amen. Oh, it all yes. sounds it all sounds great. It all sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Until I gotta knock at the door. All right now. Let him use you, brother. Uh, 
Preach. I'm like, okay, Lord. That's a different now. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> and um, so they said that uh, that right there, Amen. I'd like to speak to you. Yeah. I said, the devil's a lie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Amen. God is still in charge. He is so. Want to speak to me? I'm going to go down. Let's go all over the one. Not sure to see if I have an hour or so. And I was ready to go there. Yeah. Let, let's go. Tell me something here. Because whatever you tell me, I know that God is in charge. Amen. So I went in there, not with my head held down, one thing, looking square in the eye, listening to what they had to say. And he said, well, this is what the plan is. You still have a job, but there's going to be a $10,000 pay cut. Because we're going to also take away the position. They thought my head was going to fall. No. Oh Boy, I tell you, my heart was like leaving. I was like, oh, well, Lord, thank God. Thank you, Jesus, for provision. I still have a job. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. That's, right. That's the way I looked at it. I still have a job. That's right. So, I, I called my wife after things settled down a little bit. I called her and I shared with her. And thank God, you know it's so important to be on the same page. It's so important to be equally yoked. Because what came out of her was, well, praise God, it's going to be all right. You still have a job. Amen. Amen. So, but going forward, I still showed up to work on time. Kept doing my job. And then the I got called into the office. I got, well, they told me all about what was going to happen. Then I got called into the office uh, months later. Because God was still working in the background. Come on, man. Come on. Amen. Months later, mm -hmm. see, because like I told you, they said it was going to be what? A $10,000 pay cut. Amen. Amen. My check never changed. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Never changed. Amen. And so now, they called me in the office for that. <laughs> How are we going to recoup this money, uh, Mr. Eddington? Did we uh, talk to you about, you know, what, was gonna, what the plan was going to be? And I simply said, uh, hmm. The Lord, I, the words that came out was, oh, I just thought you found out that you couldn't do it. <laughs> arrogant? No, I wasn't arrogant. <laughs> but I was believing in God. Because he had provided. Amen. Yeah? And I tell you, this person, the top of me, was like, totally like, what am I going to do with you sort of thing? You know, it's like, what is with this guy? You know, we tell them first, we tell them that, uh, you know, we take away the, the position. We tell them we're going to take, we're going to take away $10,000, you know, on a pay cut, right? And then what does he do? Gets up, still got a smile on his face and go on about his building. Amen. And now I just told him that, you know, hey, I, I don't know how we're going to do this, whether we're going to do it all at once. Because like I said, this is months later. Come on. How are we going to recuperate this? I don't know. That's what he said. But God did. Amen. And three days later, call me back in the office. The Yes. Yeah. What is it? I got good news and I got bad news. The way I can see your faces. What do you mean? Bad news. The 
Does that mean I'm going to give you a pink slip or something? I said, the devil is a lie. What is it? Which one do you want to hear first? Uh, not you, but this is what he said to me. I said, anything you say, it's going to be all right. Amen. 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 Well, the good news is, we're not going to touch your pay. The bad news is, well, we won't win. He said, the good news is, we're not going to touch your pay. How, how is that good news to you? It's already great news to me because it never stopped. <laughs> God just put the no more. I just said, well, hallelujah, God just put a, you know, put that period right there. It's done. As for the, as we can put now, I say, it's done. <laughs> Amen. 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 So, I said, okay. The next thing is the bad news. I, I couldn't get you the position back. The title. How many people here are caught up on titles? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yes. You're right. Amen. Not, not me. He said, he said, he said I, I couldn't get the title back. What does that mean? Before I even got up to get up out of my seat, he said, uh, but can you continue to do what you've been doing? I said, wait a moment, but that came with the title. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, I, I, I understand. I, I understand. But guess what? I continue to do what I've been doing. Because right now. God has given me to do. Okay? I, I didn't need your approval of that. You gotta know go within yourself who you serve and what mission and what purpose God gave you. And you gotta carry that out. Even though it doesn't feel good, you gotta carry it out. And I can promise you, you stand on God's word and you do his will, it'll all work together. For what? For the good. good. Amen. Amen. And for the good of not only you, your family, My God. not only your family, your neighbors, your church, yes. and any person that God allows you to come in contact with. How do I get this kind of faith? How do I get strong in the Lord like that? In His Word. In His Word. The faith is good, but then we know that faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the Word of God. Amen. So that means that we got to put in some work. We got to study to show ourselves approved. All right now. A workman. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Because how else can we benefit someone else with just our words without the leading, the guiding of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We'll make a train wreck. But we're not about train wrecks right now. We're about building up the kingdom of God. We're about encouraging the people of God. And I want to tell you, you are more than conquerors. Yes. You are world overcomers. Say it. Yes. Amen. This I proclaim for you. This I declare as a truth in God's word. Amen. Unto you and to every believer, you are a world overcomer. Amen. 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 Woo! Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You've heard all that what you are? 
all that you can be. Amen. There may be still some that are still out there trying to decide. Do I believe? But right now, I'm praying, I'm praying for you. I'm praying that God will grant unto you a heart of repentance for those who don't know Him. I'd just like to give you this opportunity. If you will, every heart with a head bowed and their eyes closed. Lord, I know that you have something better for me. Because you are my father. And right now, for anyone that has not made Jesus their own, and they wish to do that, Elevate your hands at this time. You can make it. 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 You
this time we're gonna receive uh, our bishop, the high man, our bishop, Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank God for all our ladies, all 
my young ladies. I'm gonna leave all y'all right in that category. Just young ladies. Amen. Amen. I don't care if you're nine or nine. We're gonna just keep you in that category, y'all young ladies. Amen. Praise the Lord. We love the Lord. Thank God for you. Uh, thank God for Lady Singleton. Come on, let's bless God. Amen. Bigger and sweet. Right, she's so sweet. 
right? Amen. Real, real. And then I was watching, I was watching Elder Eddie said, wow, our minister Eddie did was preaching. And I, I see there's something coming about those wives when we are ministering the word. I've seen it in my wife. And I've seen it in your. You were, you were sharing, you know, your story, your testimony. And she was like, come on, say it. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna see that. Well, maybe I caught it in the spirit. But anyway, anyway, amen. Uh, I, 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 you know, she was in your amen corner. She was with you. Amen. You going down there, scripture, she, she's with you. Amen. But I, I know you didn't see her saying, say it, so that's good. <laughs> amen. Sometimes I had to look the other way. Hallelujah to the king. <laughs> amen. But we thank God for she was with you. She was with you. That's a big thing. She was with you. Amen. We love you. Thank God for Brother Fred uh, being in the back. Amen. Another one of my sons. So glad to see him. My God. I mean, he's precious to me. He's precious to me. Amen. All of you are. All of you are. And uh, we solicit your prayers for our uh, deacon, Deacon Cunningham, who uh, also has been uh, experiencing things in his health, but God is good. Amen? And we declare him whole in Jesus' name. Uh, and doctors looked at the thing, they said everything looks good, and Deep told me he feel good. Is he still like that? Amen. He still feel good. He still feel good. Lord, is gracious to us to New York on Friday night. We left out of here a bit after the service, and sister was receiving an award in New York City and then we been on the road through the night trying to get back here. I didn't want to miss this opportunity to give God some praise with you. Amen. So we appreciate the Lord. All right. We're going to get out a little bit early today. Not much more than five minutes, but less than ten. Um, amen. So I'm going to 